The central problem of biological evolution is the nature of mutation. But the occurrence of this has been wholly refractory and impossible to influence by artificial means. Although a control of it might obviously place in the process of evolution in our hands. Those were the words of Hermann Müller on evolution. The man who pioneered the study of evolution and mutation. Hermann Joseph Müller was born in New York City on 21st December 1890. His father died before Hermann was 10 years old. But he had already been imbued by his father with a sense of grandeur of evolution and a sympathy of oppressed people. After graduation from Morris High School in the Bronx, he entered Columbia University. After receiving a master's degree there in 1911, he continued his studies at the Medical School of Cornell University for a year, returning to Columbia University for his doctorate, which he received in 1906. At Columbia University, Muller came under the influence of Thomas Hunt Morgan, who had gathered together a group of young researchers to study genetic inheritance in fruit flies. Muller worked with his group in 1910 and discovered a fly mutant which established the reality of the M, or fourth chromosome of the fruit fly. In 1915, Muller joined the biology department of Rice Institute, but three years later, he returned to Columbia for two years of research and teaching. In 1920, he went to the University of Texas. In 1926, Muller reported at the 6th International Congress of Genetics in Berlin that he had succeeded in jolting the genes in the chromosomes of the fruit fly. That is, his X-rays had broken them apart and rearranged them, resulting in an increase in the mutation rate 150-fold. He had thus artificially accelerated the evolutionary process. Controlled mutation was now a fact, and overnight at the age of 36, Muller became famous. For this classic experiment, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1946. In 1945, Muller was called to Indiana University in Bloomington to become Distinguished Service Professor of Zoology. He remained there until his Muller had a strong social awareness and believed that his own researchers and the work of other scientists should be used to improve the genetic composition of mankind, as well as the general living conditions of all people. He held that the ultimate objective of his work was the control of the evolution of man by man himself. After the severe depression that struck the United States in 1929, Miller, who had become sympathetic with some form of socialism, left Texas to work in Germany. But had seen the rise of Nazism, he went on to the Soviet Union in 1933. He was given a laboratory in the Institute of Genetics in Moscow, where he worked as senior geneticist for almost four years. Those who taught and did research along the lines of Morgan's School of Genetics were dismissed or harassed. Muller became disillusioned, left the country, and denounced Russian communism. In 1955, together with Albert Einstein and other famous scientists, he signed an appeal to all countries to forswear war in view of danger that the hydrogen bomb would threaten the health of future generations and even the existence of mankind. He campaigned vigorously against the use of nuclear bomb tests because of the harmful mutations that would result. Hitler was also interested in the quality of man's life in the future and went so far as to urge the freezing of sperm of gifted men 
for use after their death in artificial insemination. He fought for the promotion of sperm banks, an idea that provoked bitter criticism. Between 1955 and 1959, Miller served as president of the American Humanist Association and was president also of the newly launched American Society of Human Genetics. He was a member of many scientific societies as well as of the American Philosophical Society. Miller's unpublished autobiographical notes written in 1936 are now in the Lily Rare Books Library of Indiana University. A popular account of his life and achievements is in Bernard Jaffe, Man of Science in America. Throughout his career, Miller felt scientists should get involved in educating the public. Not only was he outspoken about the effects of radiation, he also fought against the Texas School Board on evolution. He promoted his view on eugenics. Though he criticized the American eugenics movement for its racism and classism and recommended voluntary reproduction through artificial insemination for families with genetic disorders. The world will never going to forget the great contribution of this great scientist. We are grateful for his scientific discoveries. Today, many sci-fi movies are being made on mutation and evolution. All this has become possible only due to scientific theories and concept of Mueller. Mueller died of heart ailment on 5th April 1967. Hermann Joseph Mueller, the American geneticist. The first one who induce mutation in an organism by severe X-ray treatment. Thank you for watching Edupedia World. Please subscribe to watch more videos.